Hello world, welcome to my Thailand beach town man cave and electronics and software play area. That's where I sleep, that's where I sit, that's where I watch TV on my new badass screen, and this is the work area, and that's my coconut tree that I look out on. Can't beat that. So this video is a fairly standard laptop screen repair, but it's practice for me uh, for follow-on videos that I want to make. Uh, so I'm going to be working on video capture, audio quality, lighting, screen capture, fast forwarding, audio and video overlays, basically all the factors that go into a good YouTube technical video. I'm working on a larger project with some other guys around the world, but on my end it's requiring some extra debugging hardware that I've ordered but hasn't arrived yet, so this will make good practice for me. So today's problem is my laptop screen. I've got a three-year-old Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon, uh, and it survived my around-the-world trip uh, that I finished up earlier this year, except at the end the screen started going a little funny. So let's take a look. It doesn't look too bad until you look near the bottom of the screen and you start to see a little bit of vertical lines. If I change from a light background to a darker background, you can see the lines really jump out. There's uh, quite a number of these colored vertical lines, a big one over here, a couple more over here, and as I run my finger across, I can actually get the lines to change because there's something failed underneath. You'll be able to see it more when I take the bezel off from the back. I ordered a replacement LCD panel from Hong Kong for $84, including shipping, and it arrived today. So let's begin the swap out with opening up the package. Okay, let's dive in and open it up. Well, they certainly didn't spare any expense in the bubble wrap. Their Alibaba.com website said it was 100% new A+, and it certainly looks that way. Never used screens looks good looks like all I have to do is change pop off this connector from the old one put the new one in LP 140 WD 2 TLXE 2 let's see what the old one looks like Okay, I've had this bezel off several times trying to debug the problem to no avail, so hence we have a new screen. What you have to do is put the screen all the way down and then you run your finger under here and gently unsnap it all the way around. The left clip is easy to get off, the right clip is a little trickier. But I haven't managed to break it yet, and there we go. So that goes like that. So I just have to pop the panel out, see how that connector goes on. Oh. Let me power it up first and you'll see what happens.
Okay, this is what happens when I run my finger along the bottom here. You can see the lines just go crazy. So there's there's a problem internally with the way this little tiny circuit board is connected to the actual LCD panel. So no getting around that. So let's power it off and we'll swap the screen. Okay, there's just a, a couple of little pieces of tape actually holding this in place. So let me just peel those back, which I've done many, many times, so it's almost ready to fall out. Got to watch out for the Wi-Fi. And there we are. So now, given my eyes are getting old, I'm going to use my magnifying little jobby here to see what we have to do to get this connector up. So first of all, it's got a big piece of tape holding it down. and pull it. pushes straight back. That's lovely. Everything's good. Bad screen out. Good screen in. Gentle persuasion to push the connector into place. Lightly hold down there. Now let's power it up and see what happens. <clears throat> oh, that's a good sign. No lines. Beautiful screen, everything looks good, except my password. Yes. And here we have the latest SpaceX rocket landing. If you can't already tell, big Tesla SpaceX fan. Screen quality looks excellent. No lines. And touchdown. Okay. So let me tape this back up, put the bezel on, and we'll call this one done. <laughs> Alright, that 
looks wonderful. You can actually see everything properly now. Okay, thanks folks. See you next video. Well, I'm still on my first video and I've already learned something. The USB microscope capture program does not capture audio. So I would have to record the audio of what I'm talking about in a separate program and then try and synchronize them in the video editing tool that I'm going to use. So instead I'm just doing a full screen capture of everything on my screen, including the microscope. So we'll do this. I just wanted to give you a closer view of that connector that was going wonky. Just, just see the scale of what we're looking at. Each of these, the little gold tips that are sticking out underneath that copper colored foil are traces on the circuit board. Those are supposed to stick to the underside of this flexible plastic circuit board and you can just barely see the wires coming out from there and going up there and then across and then eventually they go under the LCD panel and attach so something is going badly wrong in there uh, either at the connection point with the circuit board or the, the plastic flexible circuit is cracked uh, also the circuit board itself is quite wiggly. There's only two screws holding it to the LCD panel. So the uh, the travel difficulties that I put the laptop through on my seven month trip um, was just too much for this little connector. So uh, we've got a new one and everything's working great. And just so you can get an idea of the scale, this is the smallest screwdriver that I've got. It's a little bit worse for wear. I'm going to have to give that a bit of a tune-up. That's 1.4 millimeters across. And to the Americans watching this, that's five one-hundredths of an inch. So you can see the, the width of the screwdriver compared to one of these tiny little circuit board connection points. You can imagine the chaos of trying to make that work. So just wanted to give you a close-up view of what we're looking at for the problem.